Hello, lovely dilusionists. Come into the studio. Come in, come in, come in. So, it's nearly Christmas. And what I thought I would do is I would do the 12 cards of Christmas, okay? On the 12th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a card. And we're going to do 12 cards. So every day, there'll be a little video of me making a card, okay? It can be quite simple. Some might be a bit more complicated than others, but just sort of, you know, quick cards. You can make these as tags. You could make them as toppers that you could then put in your um, journal pages, whatever you want to do, but I'm making them as cards. Okay, so here we are, day one. Um, these are ready-made craft cards, but you could tear a page from your um, classics journal and cut a card. I'm just, for ease, I am using ready-made cards just so I can make the process go a bit quicker, okay? So this is a tallish card. I can give you measurements if you want. I just make everything fit the card. But this card is five by seven inches. Um, I don't know what that is in centimetres. One minute. No, that's an inch one. The problem is all my rulers are in inches because they're quilting and things like that. What's this one? Hang on. Inches. So it's five by seven inches, but you can find somewhere that'll give you the thing. So I'm going to start with a craft card. And today I want to use some of the backgrounds from the Christmas collage, okay? So the Christmas collage, I always have the collage in boxes, but I keep the background separate like this. And any little bits and pieces that are left over, I keep separate. So I am going to find, I think I might use this actually. Should I use that? No, I'm going to use this. So I usually have all the bits and pieces together and I'm going to use this as a backing. But I want it to be smaller. So I want it to be about there and I want it to, maybe I'll just do the two bits. Yeah, so I'm going to get, I'm actually going to use a trimmer. It's not often, not often than I use a trimmer, is it? So I'm going to just trim that, pop that back in there and then I want it to be about there. It's always an ish. Okay. Perfect, 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 perfect. And this can go out the way and that can go out the way and I'm going to glue this on. Okay, so just a glue stick. Make sure I get that everywhere. Because people do tend to think that the collage is for journal pages and it's not. And some of these cards I might have done before. Some might be totally new. Oh, it's very warm in the studio. Look at that. It's actually lifting up. What I'm going to do, the best way is I'm going to take a black pen and I'm going to outline. Don't do this if you're a bad gluer. If you get glue everywhere, wait until your glue has totally dried. But it's really warm here in the studio. I'm going to have to turn this heater off. Jay's been in the studio with me and of course she needs the heat for her head. So, right, so if it starts lifting up like this is, because I've done the line, now I know exactly where to put my glue without getting a crease in the paper. So now I'm just going to check this. It's because it's so warm in here. I'm not good with heat. <laughs> I have my own inner central heating. Turn it over. I'm just going to lift and turn that radiator off. Do excuse me. If you're a new dilusionist, 
you might be like, what is she doing? She's disappeared. But uh, here I am, I'm back. Okay. So I am going to do <laughs> my usual big bump, little bump. Okay, big bump, little bump, big bump, little bump. This is what's going on in my head as I'm doing it. My head is going big bump, little bump, big bump, little bump, big bump, little bump, all the way around, and then I do it again. Dee, 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 dee. I do have stamps that have this on if you feel you're not quite up to this. Um. And if you're new to me, I'm always messy because I can't be bothered. It's called art. <laughs> if you want to do more, I do have lots of classes on my website, which Emmy will probably link above, where you can learn more techniques with me and we go and then hopefully it will meet at this end and if it doesn't we won't cry there we go okay and then I think I'm going to colour that in so I am going to take, I think, cherry pie. I think that red is more of a cherry pie. So I am just going to colour in, but leave the hole. Okay. So when I'm making cards, yes, if I was teaching cards, I would teach you how to cut everything up and sizes but if I am making them quickly <laughs> I just run into town and I buy packs of cards so um, now that the lovely craftwork cards has gone I can't get the really gorgeous ones that I used to get she used to do the most wonderful pearly cards and it was all I used to use but now I just go into like the works um, if you're in America, Michael's Hobby Lobby, they all have blank cards or you can just cut them to the size you want. So I'm just adding in the red. You could I could have left it blank. You know, not coloured it in at all. Just to give you some ideas, if you're doing your day by day, you could, you know, you could put this idea in your dialogue. Last year I did cards, I did 31 um, cards as in, um, not cards like this to send, just separate cards. And I put a photograph on the back and I documented every day of December. There we go. OK, so this doesn't look as though it's just stuck on there. I'm just going to put a little running stitch around. I do actually have a Christmas class starting this evening. It's called Christmas Delight. And we will be doing journal pages, cards. Um, we'll be making some faux gingerbread houses. We will be doing trees. We will be doing all sorts. Um, Again, I'll get Emmy to put the list up above of what we're doing, uh, of, of where to go. It's on the website, Diane Reevely and more. You go onto the website, you need to make an account if you've never been on there before. And um, 
you can book the class on there, you can pay for the class on there, and the class is live every evening starting tonight. Okay, so I am going to use one of this. These are some of my stamps. These are, I think these came out two years ago. I have hats off to Christmas and have tree topper. I think I'm going to use this one, tree topper. So I am going to stamp her with a archival ink pad. For some of the other cards, I might use my ready stamped stash. <laughs> but for this first one, I will just stamp it in ink. I'm a stand up stamper, so I've got a piece of mixed media card stock. Wonderful. Nice image. Just because um, I'll be able to, if I don't have to cut it out, you'll be able to see me create quicker. But this is what I will do for this one. So I'm going to cut it out. I normally leave a little bit of a gap. But you see, if you're going to follow the series... You only need me to hear, hear me say that once, don't you? So you can see what I'm doing is my scissors are just opening and closing. And my left hand is turning the card. I just find it so much easier to do. So my right hand with the scissors doesn't move at all, apart from opening and closing. And the left hand turns everything around and of course Tim's scissors make life so much better to be fair Tim makes life so much better doesn't it <laughs> actually do have these this particular one as a die cut so if you're not into cutting out you could take the die cut it's a slightly different size I think it's a bit smaller I can't remember but I do have matching die cuts in fact I will get one out to show you and then you can compare so some of my older stamps do have the die cuts. Um, you can get older stamps at Stampers Anonymous if your um, local store doesn't carry this particular stamp or if it's one that Ranger has maybe discontinued because we can only hold so much stock at Ranger. So... If it's one of those, you can go to Stampers Anonymous. But these are the die cuts. So let's see if we can find this particular head. And this set of die cuts is called Me Heads. Oh, there she is. There you go. Okay. So this stamp is called Tree Topper. This set has come from, I think it's come from the heads, and you can see the difference in size. Whenever I do something, I make it different to the actual um, size stamp that I do. So you could use that. She could even be further up. You could use her. I'm actually going to use her. And I also, when I make a die cut, I always make them the opposite way. Can you see she's looking this way? She's looking this way. So you could have them chatting away together or you could have them in a huff and not talking to each other. You can use them both together, you know, but I'm using the card. Now, whenever I'm making a card, I always add a little bit of double sided tape to it because you don't know how often this is going to be maybe handled. Um, you don't want it to drop off when you've given it to the recipient. So put some glue stick all over the rest and because you don't want to be to stick this in a, in the wrong place 
take some glue stick over the double-sided tape as well, which means if you position it wrong, you can move it around. So let's have, let's have her there. Let's press her down firmly. I usually like to have a clean piece of paper, just go over the top. I'd rather do it on a piece of paper than, oops, than underneath. You can see, because it's still warm in here, a little bit is sticking up, but I can go back later. I can go and add some more glue, oops, later to that. It is because it's warm, but it will start to cool down shortly. Okay, and then I like to outline everything. So, let's just go around this and then I'm going to colour it in. Um, and you can speed it up if you like. Oh, a little bit of glue. There we go. So I'm going to colour it in with my inky water brushes. These are the Tim Holtz water brush filled with my inks. Okay, I have, oh, where's that one come off? Oh, I have a basket, for a bag for cools. And I have a bag for warms. Unfortunately, this pencil case is, is out, is, has been, um, we've run out. So I may bring it, I may bring it back in another design. But for the moment it's gone. I like it because you can leave it open. So let us do, I'm going to do the leaves and I'm going to do a two-tone effect. I'm drinking a lovely cup of tea at the same time. Maybe I should have carols playing in the background. Do you know, I would, but I get really, it it distracts me. So, and you don't want to distract me because goodness knows what will happen. So maybe I won't. Maybe I could hum. <laughs> mm. That was a lovely cup of tea. Right, so I think I'm going to use <coughs> Island Parrot and dirty martini. Now, if you don't have these brushes, you could just spritz a little bit of the ink onto your mat and pick it up with one of my normal brushes. Okay, these are my normal brushes that you can get. So I recommend a number four and a number six for colouring. If you're doing a big area, you could use my um, three-eighths brush. Um, and you can just spritz it on here. I love, I have them in these because it's just for ease and I can travel with them. OK, so what I'm going to do is I am going to um, take the lighter colour, which is the Island Parrot. And I am going to colour in just a couple of leaves. So I'll probably do these two here. And then while they're still wet, I am going to run go in with the dirty martini just in areas and you can go back and you can soften it if you like but I usually just continue so let's do a few more let's go over here so the base of every leaf is going to be island parrot and then where the stem is or or where the shadow might be I am going to come in with dirty martini. Sometimes I'll colour every leaf a different colour. Maybe I'll do another one of those further as I go further along the series because I have no idea what I'm going to be doing as usual. That adds to the excitement of it, doesn't it? Well, it does to me. When you have HHD or rapid cycling bipolar, your whole life's an exciting adventure because you've no idea what's going on. But can you see how um, you get that lovely sort of watercolour look without knowing what you're doing? The trick is to just pretend you know what you're doing and it will work. 
and you have you the reason I only do a couple at a time is it has to be damp, otherwise um it won't blend, you'll just get a um tide mark. Okay. So I've done the tree. Now, <clears throat> this stamp that I checked and checked and checked, I don't know how many times, I've actually missed a line off here. Can you see where a face just stops? So if you just follow that line along like so, it goes under there. Can you see the difference? So now she's got a line there. I don't know how I missed her face off. And I think I am going to give her... Oh, should I give her green hair or should I, I could give her the green hair or I could give her the brown hair like a tree, like the tree trunk. I think I'm going to go brown. So this is melted chocolate. So I'm going to come in there with melted chocolate. So anything that isn't a leaf is hair. I filled all these brushes up the other day. I'm just going to give a squeeze. There we go. One was running out. Well, for the last couple of days, every time I've picked one up, it's been running out. So I, instead of just doing one at a time, I thought, do you know, Diane, get them all done. So I, that's why I'm covered in ink. Look, I'm, I'm absolutely covered. I mean, I'm always covered in ink, but I am absolutely covered because I redid, refilled all the water brushes. If you're not sure how to do that, you just, hang on, let me get to the bottom of here and then I'll tell you. If you're not sure what to do, you just, I'll take, I'll do it with a plain one. You take out the black stopper. Whoops. Take out the black stopper. You get yourself a little pipette. You put that in your dilution zinc. You squeeze to pull it up and you put it in there. And that's it. That's all you do. And then you pop your lid back on and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. You're off. You're ready. You're ready um, to go. Now, I want this to be a bit richer because I'm on a craft card. I'm going to go over the brown again. Um, just because I want it to stand up more. Okay. There we go. Okay. So it just gives it a little bit of a richer brown right <clears throat> so the star i'm going to use pure sunshine and tangerine dream and i'm going to do the same i'm going to cover the star color sorry not cover color the star and then down the left hand side i'm going to add some tangerine dream and then i'm just going to go back over to blend because can you see you get that lovely lovely look and then i am going to make the stars in here in this in the pure sunshine and then the top of the baubles i noticed on my desk haha <laughs> because i was using it the other day this is the slate gray shimmer spray so it's my <clears throat> slate grey spray but it's got the shimmer in can you see so I'm just going to get that going a bit and I'm going to use my number four brush so you just agitate it until you can't see any shimmer left there because I want the shimmer mixed you cannot put the shimmer sprays in the brushes it will just eat them so I'm just going to add a little bit on there might need a bit more and then I'm going to pick that up and I am going to paint the top of the baubles with the silver because tops of baubles are normally metallic, aren't they? Okay, I think I am going to do in her glasses as well. And you will only see this if you tip the card. When you tip the card to one side, the shimmer will show, okay? 
I've got a water pot somewhere. I'm not sure where. Let's get rid of that. And you saw how little I used. Shimmers should always be kept on the side. Okay. So um, they go more shimmery as they dry, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that shows up. Right. So what I'm going to do now is um, <clears throat> the baubles. I think I'm going to pick up one of the colours here. I think I'm going to pick up the uh, the cherry pie that I'd already used here. So let's go in with that. You could do them all a different colour. You could pick up, you know, whatever you wanted. I'm just going to use cherry pie. that in if you don't have my inks you can use anything you could use um a felt tip you could use a pencil crayon you could use a marker whatever you like i love my inks <laughs> i like the strong strong color now then, do I do her glasses in the same to match or do I go for a different colour? Hmm. Decisions. Decisions. I think I'm going to use the same. So is this dry? Yeah, the shimmer's dry. So let's go in. And it's the beauty, see the beauty of these brushes. I've had, I can't tell you how long I've had these brushes. And look, the point is still fine. People say, Diane, why don't you have your own brushes? Um, why do you use Tim's? Because Tim's is the best. I cannot tell you how many samples of brushes I have um, been given to try. And I can't find one that is better than Tim's. So I'm not going to put my name on something that is um, oops, not up to par. I would rather use something that is. And Tim's brush is the best. There you go. Okay, so I've done the glasses. Now, um, I would do the eyes and I would do the lips, but I want to show you, I want to show you here. This card can be absolutely fine as it is, but if you want to be more diverse and you want to make her a woman of colour, this is what I use. And I use um, desert sand and melted chocolate. Normally, I don't colour in faces, okay? But I am actually going to show you two faces. And for that reason, here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> so I prepared this one earlier to show you. And so I'm going to do a lighter skin on here. Normally, I would just leave it like that. That would be done. It would be finished. That would be the card gone off, okay? But I do like to be quite diverse as well. So on, uh, so on this one, I am just going to give a lighter skin. And on this one, I'm going to go slightly darker. Now, if this is just what I do. Hopefully, I don't offend anybody, but this is what I sort of do. So for the lighter skin here, I'm going to take the desert sand. And I'm going to just get the water brush. And I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to add some water and then with the desert sand i'm just going to add a touch here and there more um sort of on the edges really and then i'm just going to blend that in now if you want it darker you would use less water just be careful that you don't um get it no mark anything you have to be careful that you don't get um you, your red won't run so normally i would do this before i do the glasses or anything okay and then i'm just going to do the chin okay so if i want sort of a lighter 
I use desert sand on its own with water. If I want a darker skin, I will use desert sand with melted chocolate. Okay, so go in with the desert sand. And melted chocolate is what I did the hair with. So go all over with the desert sand. And then go in with some melted chocolate. And if you want even darker, you could do melted chocolate with ground coffee. Okay, so I'm going to go in here and here. Just add some and then I'm going to do the face. And normally it will be darker where the shadow is, down the side of the nose, where the sort of where it's in shadow down here under the soft chin, a little bit under the face. And then as long as it's still wet, you can add more shading as you go and you can make the skin whatever shade, whatever luscious shade you want. Okay. And see those two so now i'm going to do brown eyes in here okay and i'm going to do the burgundy lips which will be where is it pomegranate seed okay now because um i've done a darker skin this is sort of just standing out a little bit glaringly so if you want to get rid of that we want it to be a similar color to behind which we probably won't get totally similar but if i look for lime let me just add a little bit of lime and a little bit of sunshine and just blend it with my finger. There we go. So that is not as noticeable now. And I don't seem to have stamped this brilliantly. So I am just going to outline the eyes more. The other one is just looking that little bit. This is just me being pedantic. You don't have to do this. Okay. Just be careful if it's still very wet that you don't eat your pen. I have lots of pens, so I'm a bit more careless than I should be. There we go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is put, let's have a quote. Let's have, um, what shall, ooh, what shall we get? I don't know what to pop on. I have them white with black writing and I have black with white writing. These are the, um, Christmas bigger back chat. I, do, I also have normal back chat and normally you get a pack of either white and a pack of black but with this one I mixed the two in. Let's have don't get your tinsel in a tangle. So all you do is you peel them off and I'm going to work from the top down so I'm going to do the bottom one first. Let's have tangle In a tinsel get your and don't can you see I worked upwards just to check it would all fit in and I am going to finish that off with a white pen oops
you could put a stamp on there you could write and there you go that's today's card and that's one i did prepared earlier okay hope you enjoyed it come back tomorrow for day two